NASA's space shuttle was a true marvel of human technology. It opened up new horizons in aerospace and provided invaluable experience and lessons for future generations of spacecraft. Now, Starship has inherited the technology developed in the shuttle era and taken it to a whole new level, turning the shuttle into a glowing legacy of the past. And we can see this evolution clearly in Starship's Thermal Protection System, TPS. So, how has Starship's TPS been improved? How does it surpass the space shuttle's TPS? First thing first, let's take a look at Starship's TPS performance in Flight 5. Surprisingly, this topic hasn't gotten much in-depth analysis yet. We know Starship's TPS now uses tiles that are twice as strong as the previous ones. During Flight 5, small sparks were still visible on re-entry, indicating that a few heat shield tiles were chipping or detaching. However, compared to Flight 4, the number of sparks has noticeably decreased, showing significant durability improvements in the TPS. So, does this mean Elon Musk changed the materials used in the new tiles? Not exactly. Instead of switching materials, the team optimized the microstructure of the existing tiles by adjusting the ratio of their components. The result? The new tiles are twice as resilient as the earlier version. To understand the structure of a Starship heat shield tile, imagine a hexagonal plate with a sophisticated three-layer design, an inner white insulation layer, the base layer, covered by a black heat-resistant shield, and finally, a clear surface coating that gives it that signature glow glossy finish. I'm confident that Starship's heat shield design draws directly from the knowledge NASA developed for the Space Shuttle program. The patent for the shuttle's TPS was granted in 1989, and under U.S. intellectual property law, that patent has long since expired. Through collaborative space agreements with NASA, SpaceX has been able to access and build on this technology. Now, let's take a closer look at the microstructure of Starship's heat shield tiles. You can see a sophisticated interwoven network of fibers with empty spaces embedded to minimize heat conduction and convection. There are two distinct types of fibers visible, larger diameter aluminum fibers and finer silica fibers intertwined together. This material is actually TUFI, toughened unipiece fibrous insulation, originally used on NASA's space shuttle, combined with an AETB, alumina-enhanced thermal barrier, base layer. However, SpaceX uses a different fiber matrix for this updated design. The space shuttle's heat shield tiles are known for their outer coating made of tetrasilic and borosilicate glass, and Starship's heat shield tiles use a similar approach. Borosilicate is a type of glass containing boron trioxide, which gives it a very low thermal expansion coefficient, meaning it's highly resistant to cracking or warping under sudden temperature changes, unlike regular glass. TUFI is incredibly resilient. It was installed on the space shuttle in areas exposed to the highest temperatures. Take a look here. These two TUFI AETB heat shield tiles are completely undamaged after three flights. We can directly compare them to other heat shield tiles made from different materials nearby. In the latest version of the heat shield on S30, it seems Elon Musk and his team have increased the density of larger diameter aluminum oxide fibers. These fibers not only boost heat resistance, but also significantly enhance the mechanical durability of the tiles. With a melting point above 2000 degrees Celsius and excellent abrasion resistance, the aluminum oxide fibers allow the heat shield to withstand extreme temperatures and the harsh conditions of space. However, reinforcing the tiles with additional aluminum oxide fibers doesn't come without trade-offs. It inevitably adds to the overall dry mass of Starship. The company clearly had to find ways to address this added weight. When we examine pre-launch images of Starship S30, we can spot six unusual silver-colored tiles on its side, arranged in two groups of three. The top three tiles consist of two layers, a thermal blanket layer as the base, topped with a mechanically attached metal layer. This design makes them significantly thinner than the standard heat shield tiles. The lower three tiles feature a three-layer construction, a thermal blanket base, a substrate layer, and a mechanically attached metal coating on top. These tiles maintain the same thickness as the other tiles, differing only in the coating from the standard heat shield tiles. During the live stream of Flight 5, SpaceX revealed that this outer metal layer is made of aluminum. Aluminum melts at around 660 degrees Celsius, which is roughly the same temperature where Starship's steel shell begins to lose strength. Placing these tiles near the ship's edge is part of SpaceX's ongoing testing strategy. In my analysis, this could be an experiment to explore the potential for reducing the TPS coverage on two sides of the spacecraft, areas exposed to less intense thermal stress during re-entry. By doing so, SpaceX can lower the dry mass and potentially reduce the risk of tile damage 
during retrieval, and indeed results from this test were quickly put into action. On Starship 31, we can clearly see a reduced number of heat shield tiles along the sides. This change reflects SpaceX's simplify to the max design philosophy. They continue to optimize and eliminate non-essential components, aiming for the most efficient configuration possible. There's no denying that Starship's TPS builds upon the legacy of the space shuttle. The shuttle was a marvel of engineering in its time, laying the groundwork for future spacecraft. However, while the shuttle's TPS was considered a technological peak back then, it doesn't fully align with the groundbreaking vision and ambitious goals of today's Starship program. Looking back at the shuttle's TPS, it was a highly complex system with over 24,000 heat shield tiles, most of which were unique in size and shape. This design made production, quality control, and maintenance a true logistics nightmare. Unlike a unified system, the shuttle's TPS combined four different heat-resistant materials, each selected specifically for a given area on the shuttle. For example, at the nose of the shuttle and along its leading edges, NASA used reinforced carbon-carbon, RCC, a material capable of withstanding re-entry temperatures up to 1,260 degrees Celsius. Areas exposed to lower temperatures were protected by high-temperature reusable surface insulation, HRSI, made from Li-900 silica ceramic tiles with a special thermal coating. Meanwhile, regions facing temperatures below 371 degrees Celsius were equipped with felt reusable surface insulation, FRSI. In terms of maintenance, the numbers tell a daunting story. NASA recorded that maintaining the TPS at the Orbiter Processing Facility, OPF, required a staggering 80,000 man-hours between flights. This workload included quality inspections, repairs, waterproofing retreatments, and recertifications for flight safety. Each tile, ranging around 15 centimeters in length and between 2.5 to 12.7 centimeters thick, had to be precisely matched or custom-made to fit specific locations, a painstaking and time-consuming process. In contrast, SpaceX designed Starship's heat shield tiles to be almost uniform in size and thickness across the body, with only about 100 specially shaped tiles for critical areas like the nose and sharp edges. While this approach might slightly increase the overall weight of the spacecraft, the benefits are enormous in terms of production, maintenance, and repairs. This uniformity enables full automation in manufacturing and quality control, simplifying production processes, reducing build times, drastically lowering costs, and enhancing reliability. This is a prime example of how simple design can yield enormous benefits in space exploration, embodying the philosophy of less complexity, more efficiency in modern aerospace engineering. Another crucial difference lies in the method for attaching the thermal protection tiles. The space shuttle used adhesive to secure its tiles, as the underlying aluminum structure couldn't handle extreme temperatures. In contrast, Starship uses a more advanced approach to mount its heat shield tiles. Smooth pins are used to mechanically fasten the tiles directly onto the ship's body. This method is so robust that under normal conditions, it's nearly impossible to remove a tile without breaking it. Although some tiles were still detached during Flight 5, SpaceX has been studying ways to improve its attachment method. I'll cover these enhancements in upcoming videos. There are many other factors that make Starship's TPS safer and more effective than the space shuttles, including aerodynamic design and the materials used in the ship's construction. Want me to make a video breaking down these elements? Comment below. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth looks at the latest advancements in space technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.